the fundamental principle on which business operates is to sell goods and services for a price high enough to cover all expenses and provide the owners with a reasonable profit. Let's take a look at understanding and using the retailing equation. The formula that describes this principle is known as the retailing equation. The equation states that the selling price of an item is equal to the cost plus the markup. Using the abbreviation C for cost, M for markup, and SP for selling price, the formula is written as selling price equals cost plus markup or SP equals C plus M. To illustrate, if a camera costs a retailer $60 and a $50 markup is added to cover operating expenses and profit, the selling price of the camera would be $110. Equations are solved by isolating unknowns. So, what amount of the markup is the unknown? The equation can be written as markup equals selling price minus cost, or M equals SP minus C. When the cost is the unknown, the equation becomes cost equals selling price minus markup, or C equals SP minus M. Here's an example. Memento's gift shop pays $8 for a picture frame. If a markup of $6.50 is added, what is the selling price of the frame? Because the selling price is the unknown variable, we use the formula SP equals C plus M. So that means $8 plus $6.50 equals a total selling price of $14.50. Here's another example. Reliable Office Supply buys printing calculators from Taiwan for $22.50 each. If they're sold for $39.95, what is the amount of the markup? Because the markup is the unknown variable, we'll use the formula M equals SP minus C, or $39.95 minus $22.50 equals a total markup of $17.45. One more example. Safeway supermarkets sell corn crunchies for $3.29 per box. If the markup on this item is $2.12, how much did the store pay for the cereal? Because the cost is the unknown variable in this problem, we use the formula C equals SP minus M, which means we take $3.29, the selling price, minus $2.12, the markup, to equal the total cost of $1.17.